God is telling me something, telling me something. Beneath the water, I hear it in the earth, it's getting stronger, burning alive. I know I belong here, I know I belong here. My heart is telling me something, telling me something. Lost in the moment. I'm Ian Riggs and uh, I am the chairman this past week of the Hunter Valley Wine Show 2020. So welcome to this run through the awards from the wine show. A bit later than uh, normal and uh, congratulations to the wine show committee and to the Hunter Valley winemakers that uh, this show did go ahead. Uh, as we all know it has been a very stressful year um, but the great thing about the Hunter Valley Wine Show is that it highlighted the great vintages of 2017, 2018, 2019, and also highlighted how good and how hard working our winemakers were to bring some terrific 2020 wines to the wine show table. So a big thank you to the uh, infantry base at Singleton for allowing us to judge there, uh, to the wine show committee, and uh, also for the work they put in to make sure it was a very COVID safe uh, wine show judging. So to the results. Um, Without uh, question, 2020 was a difficult vintage. Uh, the winemakers in the Hunter Valley are used to challenging vintages, but it certainly showed that the hard work they put in has presented some very, very enjoyable wines. 2020 Semillon, two golds, and these, these wines were pure, clean, great sort of talc lemony characters, um, and they will certainly are wines to be enjoyed. Going back into 2019, well, this was an outstanding bracket of uh, classes, seven classes all up yielding uh, 19 golds and 40% of the golds from those classes, 40% of medals overall, just from those seven classes. Across Semillon, Chardonnay, Shiraz, other varieties and blends. Uh, these wines really, really are outstanding. So in the 19 Semillon alone, there were seven gold medals. Uh, in the 19 uh, Shiraz class, there were four golds, strong contenders for um, the you know, top wines of the show. Um, right back into the, uh, the blends. So we had um, Shiraz uh, Mavedra, we've got uh, Shiraz Tariga. Uh, in the silver medals, the other white varieties. Uh, there was a, a lovely um, Vermentino, there's a lovely Fiano. So winemakers are not just staying with the, the stock standard Shiraz and Semillon and, and Chardonnay. Winemakers in the Hunter Valley are branching out and experimenting with, with other varieties. So 2019, outstanding classes, group of classes. But then you got to drop back to 2018, there's only three um, dedicated 18 vintage classes, Semillon, Chardonnay and Shiraz. And you might say that that was a stronger group because that got 13 goals, those group of uh, three classes. Um, 2018 Semillon, just sort of sitting in a nice place at the moment, probably the 18 Chardonnays uh, drinking uh, the best. Um, but the 2018 uh, gold, four golds for Shiraz, outstanding vintage. These, um, you know, it's a middle vintage of three dry years. And um, I think these wines, the gold medals from those, uh, that Shiraz class, will provide much excitement uh, as this day unfolds. Dropping back then to uh, 17 and older, uh, these wines basically uh, have sold out, but there's some very, very strong wines there. And if you go back across those classes, 
particularly with Semion, you then start to get into older um, and more mature uh, Semions. And uh, we've seen over the last 12 months that the 2013 Semions really are starting to hit their straps. This year at seven years of age, or now seven and a half, um, these provided bulk of the golds. These were really exciting wines and beautiful to drink now at seven years of age. But as we know with Hunter Valley Semion, these wines will age for a long time. Going back further, then we drop into the museum class and uh, again, older Semions from uh, 2005 and 2006 featured strongly and these are glorious wines. They just illustrate how good the Hunter Valley can do um, Semion and aged Semion. In the aged reds, uh, 2014 was an outstanding vintage, 2013 was outstanding and these wines are sitting in a lovely um, spot at the moment. A bit of age, just starting to lose some of that freshness and uh, getting some lovely bottle aged um, uh, bouquet to them. So overall, but then, sorry, then overall, we've got things like rosé in the 2020 rosé class, which I didn't mention. Two sort of strong silver medals using Tempranillo as the base for those wines. Dry, savoury, um, salmon pink, and just beautiful wines with summer coming on. I mentioned Fiano, Vermentino, these other styles that winemakers are using. Uh, Tawny Port, there's a, a strong gold medal there. And um, I think the, uh, the spread of the awards 60% medals across the 600 that were entered is highlights how strong this region is and 8% gold. So overall, a lot of wines to enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this sort of wrap up <laughs> and you continue to enjoy the proceedings and as the gold medals and more importantly, as the trophy winners unfold today. Good afternoon, so, everyone. Thanks again. Uh, thanks for supporting the Hutter Valley. The and uh, Microphone on. Good afternoon, everyone. The first award this afternoon, the Marshall Flannery Trophy, is awarded to the best current vintage Semion. The contenders for this trophy were Brokenwood Wines 2020 Hunter Valley Semion and Silkman Wines 2020 Single Vineyard Blackberry Semion. The Marshall Flannery Trophy for best current vintage Semion is awarded to... Oh, drum roll. Goes to Brokenwood Wines 2020 Hunter Valley Semion. The Ed Juo Memorial Trophy is awarded for best one-year-old Semion. The contenders for this trophy were Brokenwood Wines 2019 Trevina Vineyard Semion, Deolius Wines 2019 Single Vineyard Garden Semion, Silkman Wines 2019 Silkman Reserve Semion, Agnew Wines Audrey Wilkinson Marsh Vineyard 2019 Semion, Silkman Wines 2019 Estate Semion, Mount Pleasant Wines 2019 Lovedale Semion, and Brokenwood Wines 2019 Talawanta Vineyard Semion. The Ed Joe Memorial Trophy for Best One-Year-Old Semion is awarded to... Is awarded to Classy Field. Is awarded to Agnew Wines, the Marsh Vineyard, 19 Semion. Guggen Family Trophy is awarded for best two-year-old and older Semion. The contenders for this trophy were Gartleman Wines 2018 Benjamin Semion, Thomas Wines 2014 Cellar Reserve Braymore Semion, Mount Pleasant Wines 2014 Lovedale Semion, Briar Ridge 2013 Stockhouse and Signature Hunter Valley Semion, Tyrrell's Vineyard 2018 Stephen Semion and Briar Ridge 2013 Dairy Hill Single Vineyard Hunter Valley Semion. The McGuigan Family Trophy for Best Mature Two-Year-Old and Older Semion is awarded to... I'll take any of those. <laughs> the trophy goes to Briar Ridge 2013 Stockhausen Signature.
The George Wyndham Memorial Trophy is awarded for best current and one-year-old Chardonnay. The contenders for this trophy were Brokenwood Wines 2019 Maxwell Vineyard Chardonnay, Tinkler's Wines 2019 Hill Chardonnay and Silkman Wines 2019 Silk Chardonnay. The, best the George Wyndham Trophy for best current and one-year-old Chardonnay is awarded to... Good wines. Tinklers, 19 Hill Chardonnay. Come well, Pete. The Henry John Lindemann Memorial Trophy, sponsored by Jerds Real Estate, is awarded for best two-year-old and older Chardonnay. We welcome Shelley Jerd to come to the stage to present the trophy. The contenders for this trophy were Keith Tullock Wine 2018 Field of Mars Chardonnay, uh, uh, Tyrrell's Vineyards 2018 Belford Chardonnay and Ridgeview Wines 2015 Impressions Chardonnay. The, John, the Henry John Lindemann Memorial Trophy for best two-year-old and older Chardonnay is awarded to... Tyrrell's Vineyard 2018 Belford Chardonnay. The best other white wine trophy, there was only one gold medal awarded in this class. The best other white wine trophy is awarded to... I think we've got that on the table, haven't we? Goes to Bim Badgen, out of Ali Vermentino. The J Tullock Trophy is awarded for the best Vidello. No trophies awarded this year. <laughs> the Murray Tyrrell Chardonnay Trophy, sponsored by Multicolor Global Label Solutions, is awarded for best Chardonnay of show. We welcome John Tyrrell to the stage to present this award. <laughs> The contenders for this trophy were Tyrrell's Vineyard 2018 Belford Chardonnay and Tinkler's Wines Tinkler's 2019 Hill Chardonnay. The Murray Tyrrell Chardonnay Trophy for Best Chardonnay of Show is awarded to... Is awarded to... JT. <laughs> Tyrrell's Wines 2019 <laughs> Belford Chardonnay. <laughs> Terrell's 18, Belford Chardonnay is the winner. That's all kind of a bit incestuous, isn't it? It's all kind of you know, all a bit in house. The Doug Galbraith Memorial Trophy is awarded for best sweet or off, off dry wine. There was only one gold medal awarded in this class. The Doug Galbraith Trophy for best sweet or off dry wine is awarded to... Oh, no one knows this one. <laughs> Morgan Family Wines, the 2018 Petrida Semyon. The Trevor Drayton Memorial Trophy is awarded for best fortified wine. There was only one gold medal awarded in this class. The Trevor Drayton Memorial tro Trophy for best fortified wine is awarded to... There's a flag in coming round after this. The Mount Pleasant Tony Port Syrah. Uh, 
there was no uh, trophy awarded this year for the best sparkling wine. The John Lewis Newcastle Herald Trophy is awarded for best museum red wine. There's only one gold medal awarded in this class. The John Lewis Newcastle Herald Trophy for museum vintage red wine is awarded to. Is John going to present it? It is Terrell's Vineyard 07 Vat 8 Shiraz. <laughs> The Graham Gregory Memorial Trophy is awarded for the best museum white wine. The contenders were Tyrrell's Vineyard 2005 Belford Semillon, Tyrrell's Vineyards 2006 Vat 1 Semillon, Briar Ridge 2011 Dairy Hill Single Vineyard Hunter Valley Semillon, and Tyrrell's Vineyard 2006 HVD Semillon. The Graham Gregory Memorial Trophy for best museum white wine is awarded to. This could be a turn up. <laughs> Tyrrell's Vineyards 06 Vat 1. The Tyrrell Family Trophy is awarded for best single vineyard white wine. The contenders for this trophy were Silkman Wines 2020 Single Vineyard Blackberry Simeon, Briar Ridge 2013 Dairy Hill Single Vineyard Hunter Valley Simeon, Agnew Wines Audrey Wilkinson Marsh Vineyard 2019 Simeon, and Tinkler's 2019 Hills Chardonnay, and Tyrrell's Vineyards 2018 Belford Chardonnay. Trophy for best single vineyard white wine is awarded to dead heat, wouldn't it? Briar Ridge, 2013, Dairy Hill, Single Vineyard, Hunter Valley, Semion. The Drayton Family Trophy, sponsored by Segwin Moreau, is awarded for Best Single Vineyard Red Wine. Welcome Adam Rees to the stage to present this trophy. The contenders for this trophy were Brokenwood Wines 2019 Cat's Block Shiraz, Deolius Wines 2018 LDR Vineyard Shiraz Tariga Nasnial, Margan 2019 Saxon Vale Mavedre, Agnew Wines Audrey Wilkinson Winemaker Selection 2018 Malbec, Julius Wines 2019, LDR Vineyard Shiraz Tariga Nasnial, Julius Wines 2018, Talga Road Vineyard Shiraz, and Margan Age Release 2017, Timber Vines Shiraz. The Drayton Family Trophy for Best Single Vineyard Red Wine is awarded to. This table six got a little bet going on. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is Julius Wines 2018, Talga Road Shiraz. <laughs> There was no best rosé trophy awarded this year. <laughs> the Alexander Munro Memorial Trophy, sponsored by Rover Coaches, is awarded for best current and one-year-old Shiraz. The contenders for this trophy were Brokenwood Wines 2019 Cat's Block Release Shiraz, Thomas Wines 2019 LNA Shiraz, Brokenwood Wines 2019 Hunter Valley Shiraz, and Brokenwood Wines 2019 Graveyard Vineyard Shiraz. The Alexander Munro Memorial Trophy for Best Current and One-Year-Old Shiraz is awarded to... 
Better make a tomo, a bottle of Kiss on a bottle of Graveyard. Pretty good odds. Yep. The winner is Thomas Wines, 2019, Ellen A. Shiraz. And the next gen, Dan Thomas. The Elliott Family Trophy is awarded for best two-year-old Shiraz. The contenders were Deulius Wines 2018 Telga Road Vineyard Shiraz, Mount Pleasant Wines 2018 Morris O'Shea Shiraz, Agnew Wines Pull Rock Post Office 2018 Shiraz, and Tyrrell's Vineyards 2018 Old Hillside Shiraz. The Elliott Family Trophy for best two-year-old Shiraz is awarded to... Drum roll. They broke them, didn't they? It goes to Dulius Wines, 2018, Talga Road, Vineyard Shiraz. <laughs> the James Busby Memorial Trophy is awarded for best three-year-old and older Shiraz. The contenders for this trophy were Margan Age Release 2017 Timbervine Shiraz and Thomas Wines 2017 Elena Shiraz. The James Busby Memorial Trophy for best three-year-old and older Shiraz is awarded to... Another side bet going on. <laughs> the winner is... The Margan Age Release 17 Timbervines. The best other red wine trophy. The, the contenders for this trophy were Deulius Wines 2019 LDR Vineyard Shiraz Tariga Nacional, Margan Family Wines 2019 Saxon Vale Mavedra, Agnew Wines Audrey Wilkinson Winemaker Selection 2018 Mulbeck, and Deulius Wines 2018 LDR Vineyard Shiraz Tariga Nacional. The best, of, best other red wine of show is awarded to. The winner is Dulius Wines, LDR, Shiraz, Tariga. Well done, Josh. The Morris O'Shea Memorial Trophy is awarded for Best Semyon of Show. The contenders for this trophy were Briar Ridge 2013 Stockhouse and Signature Hunter Valley Semyon, Audrey Wines, Audrey Wilkinson, Agnew Wines, Audrey Wilkinson, Marsh Vineyard 2019 Semyon, and Brokenwood Wines 2020 Hunter Valley Semyon. The Morris O'Shea Memorial Trophy for Best Semyon of Show is awarded to... No pressure. Fitting, seeing we're here at what was Lindemans. Of course, it is the 2013 Stockhausen Signature Hunter Valley Semyon of Briar Ridge. The Hector Tullock Memorial Trophy is awarded for Best Shiraz. The contenders for this trophy were Thomas Wines 2019 LNA Shiraz, Deulius 2018 Telga Road Vineyard Shiraz, and Margan Family Wines Margan Age Release 2017 Timbervine Shiraz. The Hector Tullock Memorial Trophy for Best Shiraz is awarded to... Deulius Wines 2018 Telga Road. <laughs>
The Len Evans Trophy is awarded for best single vineyard wine. What wine? The contenders for this trophy were Briar Ridge 2013, Dairy Hill Single Vineyard, Hunter Valley, and Deulius Wines 2018, Telga Road Vineyard, Shiraz. The Len Evans Trophy for best named vineyard wine is awarded to... How you feeling, Mikey? 2013 Dairy Hill Single Vineyard, Hunter Valley, Semyon. <laughs> Briar Ridge. The Petri Drynan Trophy is awarded for Best White Wine of Show and is sponsored by CCL Label. We welcome Michael Bentley to the stage to present the trophy. The contenders for this trophy were Bimbadjan 2019, Hunter Valley Vermentino, Briar Ridge 2013, Stockhouse and Signature, Hunter Valley Semillon, and Tyrrell's Vineyards 2018, Belford Chardonnay. The Petri Drynan Trophy for Best White Wine of Show is awarded to... Briar Ridge, 2013, Stockhausen Signature. The Doug Seabrook Memorial Trophy is awarded for Best Red Wine of Show and is sponsored by CCL and Punchin supplied by Mercury. The contenders for this trophy were Deulius Wines 2019 LDR Vineyard Shiraz Tariga Nacional and Deulius Wines 2018 Telga Road Vineyard Shiraz. The, the Doug Seabrook Memorial Trophy for Best Red Wine of Show is awarded to... <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Oh, Thomas Wines, what? No, Deolius, 2018 Tower Road Vineyard. And lastly, the Ian Riggs Wine of Provenance Trophy is awarded to celebrate a wine of exceptional provenance, reflecting consistency of style and quality over time. The four contenders were Tyrrell's Vineyards, Hunter Valley, Four Acres, Shiraz, 07, 14 and 18. Brokenwood Wines, ILI Reserve, Semillon, 2009, 14 and 19. Audrey Wilkinson, The Ridge, Semillon, 2009, 13 and 19. And Mount Pleasant, Old Paddock and Old Hill, Shiraz. 2006, 14 and 19. The Ian Riggs Wine of Provenance is awarded to... While I'm opening this, um, the Provenance idea is to reflect or show across three wines how a vineyard fares, uh, sometimes in off years, but generally you'd enter your best wine. Um, coming out of 2020, where I mentioned that the winemakers in the Hunter Valley absolutely rock, it, uh, it is a year where winemakers can actually come to the fore but the vineyard still has to have a core essence of, of great wine. And uh, I think in future years, we may even see some of those 2020s come through in the, in the Provenance class. The Riggs Provenance trophy goes to Tyrrell's Wines, four acres, 07, 14 and 18. Not, not a lot of talking in this uh, show, but uh, glad to have a few words about this uh, particular wine. But yeah, the Four Acres, um, it's always been the best little block of uh, vineyard that I've ever had to 
play with at uh, Tyrrells, you know, 141 years old. Uh, just, yeah, makes itself really, so I don't have to do too much. Awesome bit of wine and, uh, yeah, it's all about the grape grower. Uh, no, it is. It's always these great vineyards, uh, you know, it's about the fruit as we know, but, yeah, we don't do too much. Uh, this is one I remember Murray Tyrrell telling me when I first started there, um, and I'll, I'll refer to your granddad, because, uh, yeah, he said, yeah, Fuck this one up, you're out. <laughs> so it was pretty much, pretty much the mantra from from then on in. And uh, yeah, just you know, I really don't do too much to this wine, and uh, let let the vineyard do the talking. Come on, I want to hear from you, Johnny. Jeez, it's quite small for 500 people, isn't it? But uh, I couldn't help myself then. Um, just want to say thanks, everybody, and hope everyone's having a good day. Thank you, everyone. That does now wrap up our live stream for this afternoon. Uh, and before I let you get on with celebrating, I just would like to make a few final thank yous, of course, to the Hunter Valley Wine and Tourism Association for putting together such a great wine show celebration luncheon in very difficult circumstances. And thank you to the committee uh, who put so much hard work into making that happen, led, of course, by Lisa Morgan, Brad Russ, Kylie White and...